It is time to find all the collectibles in Belknap. We're going to start off with the character collectibles first. We're going to start off in Hot Springs, near Encampment. And we're going to find a couple right here near the beginning. Now, just real quick, I'm going to show you the characters. I'm going to the Nero Intel as well as the Tourism. And uh, one of the RIP Sermons. I'm not going to show you the historical markers because you can just get those appear on your map when you do the ambush camps. And I'm not going to show you the plant locations because there's thousands of them. Just keep picking them up until you get that collectible. So you can see these first two are right next to each other in the Hot Springs camp. Now there is another character card not inside one of the encampments. It's not often that this happens. But we're going to head over to this village here in the very southwest corner. We're going to go inside of this yellow house. Now inside of here is going to be one of Tucker's character collectibles. Now character number nine is going to be in the exact same place. Don't look at the icon of the mission thing. I'm actually in the same place I was. So the southwest corner. Uh, you're going to meet Lisa in that room there, and you're going to follow Lisa out of the house. Before you do that, come downstairs, and you'll find her character card right here in the kitchen. So that's it for all the character cards in Belknap. Let's go ahead and do the Nero Intel. Starting at the Marion Forks Tunnel, just east of where we kind of just were. Again, all of the checkpoints and all the uh, uh, research sites have... a. Uh, Nero Intel as well as an upgrade. Now if you go just a little north of Marion Forks, you're going to find a dig site. You can see it here, nice and bloody. Well, we're going to go over here underneath the shack and we'll find Intel number 46. Micro recorder. Let's see. So we're going to at the top left corner and we're going to find Nero Intel number 23. You make your way through the camp and at the very end of it, you're going to be in this area with the crashed helicopters. A nearby building is going to contain Intel number 23. That is not a, a normal uh, Nero building, so there's no upgrade there. So just south of there, there's going to be another research site. And this is going to be inside a cave. So from the cave entrance, come all the way to the back. Now, if you come here during the day, there's going to be a horde waiting for you. If you come here at nighttime, the horde will be out of the cave wandering around somewhere in the land. Another micro recorder. One of these is going to explain. Now, number nine is just south of there. Now, this one is another research site. Now, in order to get there, you need to go from the road, and then there's a little ramp. You're going to have to upgrade your engine and jump over to this area which will lead you to, well, an upgrade and, of course, Intel number 9. Now, the final Intel that I got here is going to be at the Iron Butte Pass. This is another Nero checkpoint. Once you've figured out how to open the doors, just go inside, get your upgrade, get your Intel, and then we are going to move to the Tourism Collectibles, starting off with Tourism number 2. So back up near Marion Forks. Just go inside of Hungry Gyms and you're going to find a table to the left as I enter it. That's going to contain tourism number two. Now tourism number three is also in Marion Forks. This is near that yellow building. There's also a church over here. You're going to see a bookstore, the little uh, blue roof. Inside of the back area here is a office. We are going to get tourism number three. There is also another tourism in here, and I'm actually entering from the front of the bookstore. It's right here on the next to the couch. All right, so number eight is just a little west of there. Uh, this is kind of on its way. It, this road winds up to the top of a, of a big, kind of not a mountain, I guess, but you're going to see this sign. It says fire danger today. Look at that sign, and that is number eight. Now, number five is going to be just north of that previous location. 
look for the Bear Creek Hot Springs building here. And it's going to be right on the counter. All right, so a little southwest of that previous one, not far, there's going to be a restroom. Now, this tourism collectible is actually going to be pinned to the side of the building outside here. And then number six. Remember, I'm numbering these based on how they appear in your collectible menu. This is just outside the Hot Springs Encampment. Look for the big building, the biggest building with the pink roof. And we're going to go inside, turn left, and swing all the way around. We're going to find a little office back here. So tourism number nine. This is going to be when you first come into this area, a uh, little the southeast corner of this area. You got Willie's Crazy Willie's. And you're going to come here as part of the story the first time you're in Belknap. You're supposed to come in and get a motorcycle part there. You're with Boozer and you're trying to get the motorcycle part. Before you go into that uh, garage area, just come onto the desk and pick up tourism number 9. And then number 10 is going to be in the same area. And it's going to be actually right next door, just to the right of Crazy Willie's. You're going to see this motel. So we're going to go into the reception area here. It's going to be right on this table between the two chairs. Now the final collectible I'm going to show you is the Rest in Peace Sermon. This is number two. And not, very, not far from the Crazy Willies area, you'll find this contraption. A bunch of tree branches tied together. Interact with the generator to turn off the speaker. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.